Hey guys, welcome back to my first Sims video since being away in LA and can I just say it's actually like hotter here than it is in LA like how ridiculous is that right now in the UK it's like 30 31 degrees we are literally dying in this room because of all the lights and screens this crazy thing behind me people are always like what is that thing it's a fan it's for little bean she's in here with me as well she's also got like this special like cooling mat that's meant to keep her cool She's not on it at the moment. She's not making the best use of it. But it's really hot here. And what's different to LA is here it's a lot more humid. LA is very dry here. And I find that on an evening as well, it gets darker and cooler a lot quicker in LA. Like LA, 8 p.m., it's already starting to get dark and it's co it's cold. It's kind of cold. It's not cold. It's not, it's not cold, but it's cool. Here at like 10 p.m. last night, it was still bright. And the, the humidity is just insane. So it stayed hot all night long. So if I've got like, I get these like crazy curly hairs when I get too hot and humid and I've just been on like an adventure with Evie, Ali's away filming together so we went on like an adventure in the woods so it would be in the shade but it's still really freaking hot guys, it's so freaking hot! If I'm a little bit flustered and hot in this video, you know why! But I'm really excited to play some more Sims for you guys, it feels like it's been so long and I've forgotten all the controls and I promised you guys that we would review some of the comments that you guys left in the video so that your feedback goes into the series. Something I think I'm gonna do with this series, I'm gonna do something very exciting this series. I think I'm gonna do this episode, something very exciting is gonna happen. I'm gonna talk about it a little more. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in a minute, but for now, let's review some of the comments. So I've got up these videos. I like how, like, I always start with my face being like, eh. <laughs> I don't know why, but that cracks me up. So here we go. So these are the comments on the bad romance video. You guys are suggesting I should change Dream House to Dream Life. Kind of, but the house is gonna be, I'll explain more in a minute. The house is like a basis, it's like a place. So that's why I'm keeping it as that. I'll explain a little bit more on that in a moment. Um, create a boyfriend like a bad boy. So that's for little Jessica. Do you guys want a bad boy? You think that Emma is losing her tomboy vibe? I mean, like, I was a tomboy, but I did still, like, I don't know. When I was a kid, I was a proper little tomboy, like, climbing trees, playing football, fighting boys. And I kind of went, I sometimes looked girlier than other times, but I was still, I was still the same person. But I'll tell you what, we will get her maybe a little games console, get her doing some sports and stuff in this episode. We'll get her back onto that vibe for you guys. Claire, can you make a really cool, punky-looking boy for Jess? Oh my god, Jess is super cute. I think you should make a boyfriend that's sort of emo. So you guys are kind of thinking I should go down this kind of like tattooed, sort of grungy sort of look for a boyfriend potentially for her. But then also, also, with Jess's style, you should go for a romance with a girl, maybe a punk rock chick that can handle Jess. And spread the word, hashtag Jess should get Jess should date a girl. Jess should date a girl. So maybe you guys have been tweeting as well. So what I'm kind of thinking. We're gonna do it this episode because we've got something different happening this episode, but next episode, we're gonna create a boy and a girl sim. We're gonna give them both this kind of grungy, cool look, and we're gonna put them in the neighborhood and see if we can get Jess to bump into them, hang out with them both, and then just see which one she kind of gels with more naturally. I think that's gonna be the way we'll do it, guys, okay? So stay tuned for that, and you guys can drop some comments below about what we wanna do with the way those guys look. Because we're gonna get to make them. We'll be making sims, okay. Jesse is scary. Let's see what you guys think. Claire, I love you so, so much. You are, your, you are my role model, like if you agree. <gasps> Thank you so much. That makes me feel so happy. I will try and be a really good role model for you guys. I'll try and start speaking properly. It's hot, to be fair. It's very hot. You should have a separate sim series of James and Salma getting married and starting a family and the same for Jess when she has a boyfriend. Benny, you should see that, guys. Stay tuned for a little bit more on that. Like this, and that's how old I am. You're 42. Claire, you can get a nightlight that keeps the monsters away. <gasps> so they had that when they were toddlers, but I took it away from the twins when they became children, so maybe I need to put it back in there. Okay, onto the twins grow up. What did you guys say about this? Make Emma play a sport like softball, then she can have lots of boys that are friends. When she grows up, she can date one of them. Make Emily be a very pretty girl with lots of friends and girly girls. They're just like her, so she can date a popular boy like so Claire can see. So I don't know if I can like enroll them in clubs. I'd like to enroll them in like some sort of school club. I feel like you could do that on previous games. Like I feel like the school system was a lot better on previous games. Like you can invite the headmaster around and make them um, like view the house, cook them a lovely meal and get them into private school. I feel like that bit of it's kind of gone and I kind of missed that. I think that was a really cool feature. Let's see if I can give them some after school clubs. Oh my gosh, so in Sims 3 there was loads of options. 
But they don't have anything in Sims 4 by the looks of it. Like, let me know if I'm wrong. But I would love to see some after school clubs. That would be so cool to like shape them in little different directions. Like maybe Emily could do ballet and Emma could do softball or football. I'm thinking football, you guys are probably thinking soccer. But it would be really cool if it actually had that. So you guys want me to change the athletic outfit? I think that was of Jesse. You don't like the heart! You don't like the heart? I thought the heart was really cool, but we can change that for you guys. And you guys want me to get them rid of the rug in James's room. Okay, lots of feedback, lots of cool stuff that we can do. You guys can help me with the tiling issue around the pool though <gasps> i don't know whether i need to like delete the whole pool and re-put it in and re-put the tiles in maybe i'll try that maybe that will help hopefully it will do but guys that's lots of comment reviews thank you guys so much for your comments and support while i was at e3 absolutely amazing to come back to all those awesome bits of feedback for you guys so thank you so so much and guys let's play some more sims 4 dream house so guys here's our little fem limbs you guys said that claire's dressed too old I thought it was pretty cool, but we'll change it. We'll change it this episode. We also gave James a bit of a new look. Like, Ali liked that. He says, he looks cool. His hair looks cool. Jessie's got the purple hair, but you know what Jessie's like. She changes every episode. Then we've got little pretty Emily there. And then we've got little Emma here. You want me to make her a little bit more tomboyish? So I can do that. I can change her a little bit, guys. So let's get into the house. <laughs> I feel like I always start off with somebody in the toilet. Like, poor little Emma here. Just trying to get away with doing her own little, little toilets. And suddenly these like big creepy people start looking at her. Okay, so she is awake. So I'll tell you what. Let it, let's just quickly change some of the outfits around, guys. You want her more tomboy? You want Claire not to look so old? That's especially harsh because I was just watching a YouTube video on... um. YouTubers that are way older than you think they are. I think it had like Wenji on there. It had Tanya Burr and they were like, Oh my god, she's 27! How could she? I'm like, What's so old about 27? Why are you been so mean? Why are you been so mean? Okay, so we have this sort of look. Like, comfortably torn. The thing is, when I like, there's a few different colour versions. If I try this on, her eyes go back to being boring eyes, guys. So, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, but we can do stuff manually, okay? I wonder what custom content I've got for the little kitty winks. It's all a little bit girly. It's just a little bit too girly, you know? That's probably the most boyish one, but obviously baby James wore that when he was still a baby, so we can't go down that route. What about this? That's quite cool. I like that. Actually, I like that with the little leggings. I know it's kind of lazy just to throw that on and be like, that's fine. But I, I actually quite like the way that looks. I don't know. We've also got like this little shirt kind of thing. I mean, that's very, very cute as well. That is really cute as well. I mean, it's between those two for me. I'm going to put the shirt on her, guys. I'm going to try out the shirt for a little bit. Um, should we give her some different leggings? Maybe this. Like, oh, and we can keep the little leggings on underneath. Yes. Layering action, guys. Layering action. There we go. Have they got any other? Maybe like a red sh Look, 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 wait for it. She's got a shirt on. A plaid shirt on. And then she's got one around her waist too. That makes no freaking sense at all. Stop this madness, Emma. What are you playing at? We're gonna have to go back to just the leggings. I'm just gonna sit with the leggings, guys. Otherwise, it's just tomfoolery. I could give her like some cool face paint. <laughs> I mean, no, that's ridiculous, Claire. What about that? Is she a tomboy now, guys? Okay, I'm gonna mix her hair up as well from this sort of, like, plait one uh, to this one. It's a little bit more relaxed at the front. It's like her mum's just, like, French braided her hair. Just to get it out of her face, she's like, Mum, I hate this hair in my face. So her mum's like, okay, just French plait it for you, and then it's out your face, and it stays the same length. Realistic, guys. Okay. Little Emma. Emily. <laughs> Emily, okay, what can we give her? Emily's music's like really like bouncing and happy in comparison. She's got this little cardigan thing. I mean, it's pretty ugly. We've got this little cutesy thing. Could give her that. I mean, I kind of like in the dresses on her, you know? Not that one though. Okay, it's a bit OTT. What about this kind of a thing? That's cute as a little button. I think her shoeies might need to change a little bit. Uh, maybe like that? Little flipperudos. There we go. Is there any hairstyles that are similar to hers, but like a similar length? <gasps> She's so pretty, guys. She's so pretty. <gasps> we could go for this one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. It's like a plait that goes around to a knot at the back of her head. Love it. Okay, she's done. On to Jessica's, who we all know likes to change up her look a lot. 
Actually, one of you guys sent me a really cool hairstyle on Twitter. It was like the double buns and the fringe. I was a single bun and a fringe and long hair and I meant to download it and I completely forgot. So I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh, imagine. Like imagine if she just cut all the hair off. She was just like, nah, and just got really short hair. She, the thing is she could still pull it off. Like it's not even fair. Okay, some of you guys have suggested this hair. I am actually quite down for that. I think that looks quite cool. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh, she kind of suits like the white hair. I like that kind of hair. Maybe like blondie white. Or what about just pink? Just pink. Okay, I'm gonna go for pink hair and Jess. We're gonna do it guys. We're gonna go for that hairstyle. Oh my god, how horrible is that? However, this one is like so over it, but it is, which I think is quite Jess. I mean, those shorts are maybe a bit too small for that. What the hell? Where did that come from? Could give her some little jeans. I mean, I don't know. I don't like her showing off that much Tum Tum. She's still my daughter. I mean, no. No. No, Jess. Okay, it's not happening. Okay, these are nice high-waisted numbers. I think that's better. I don't want her to wear like really, I, I need her to cover up a little bit because she's still my daughter and she's still very young. She can make those kind of decisions when she's older, okay? So there we go. Slightly updated look for Jess as well. You guys wanted this hair on her. I think it looks pretty good. Can we change out her uh, necklace a little bit? Okay, there we go. A bit of a different look for Jess. Maybe just for this episode because I quite like big poofy hair on her. But you guys wanted to see that. No, James, you look great. We're not changing you, but you guys hate Claire's look, okay? So we're gonna have to change her. Oh my god, no. Okay, I'm gonna go, because I've got like a top quite similar to that. Um, and then these like, I wear like, um, black jeans with them and knees cut out all the time. I'm gonna change her shoes though, to just like some little pumps. But I don't know, I feel like Claire's got quite curvy again. Like, we've got a gym in the house, but she's not using it so much again. I don't know what it is about Claire. Like, she seems a bit prone to body shape changes. So I may get her working out just a little bit, but I think that outfit's quite cute. And then I'm gonna keep Valley as he is, because he looks pretty good. So there you go, guys. Oh, you wanted Jesse's uh, workout gear to be changed. Okay, I'll lose the heart. Guys, can we not even put a Supreme hat on her? Can we not even do that? Like, I think that could be quite, quite cute. Can we not do that? Let me know in the comments if I can put at least a supreme cap on her. I just want to mix her up a little bit, you know? Okay, there we go. But let me know if I can at least put a supreme cap on her, okay? There we go. Slightly little different mixed up looks. So I can explain to you guys a little bit more now about what I want to do this episode. There we go, little, uh, little Emmakins. <gasps> An unwelcome present. I got a present I think is dumb. Oh my gosh, my kids are so ungrateful. Stop being ungrateful. There we go. What time is it, by the way? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get to bed. Jess, you better be in bed. Oh my gosh, Jess, what are you doing? Jess, stop that. Stop that nonsense. You need to get to bed as well. What is everyone doing? What's my crazy family like? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Get your butt to sleep, okay? What about James? Oh my- Nobody is in bed! Nobody is in bed! It's 2 a.m. Get your butt to bed. Ooh, you guys wanted me to delete his rug. Kapow! Maybe we can give him a more grown-up rug, though, because it feels a bit- It feels a bit sad and lost without any kind of rug on the floor. Maybe just, like, this big crazy rug like this. There, maybe we do that instead. We'll get rid of that one, too, because that one's a little bit childish. There, his room definitely looks a lot more grown up now. And I'm like, I'm loving still the fact that this is on the wall. How freaking cool is that? Team, just so cool. And then actually, another thing you guys suggested was a nightlight in here to keep away the monsters. I can do that. I can do that for you guys. Um, starry nightlight. Nope. Okay. Night lights. Why must you be so awkward? Here it is. That's a regular one. Where's the one that does all the cool stuff like Reflects stuff on the wall and it's just generally pretty awesome. Okay. We might have to go to kids bedroom Lights Why must this game make things so hard to find? Here it is. I had to filter it to parenthood just to find it. Okay. Night lights cannot insurrect other objects 
We're gonna get rid of... We'll just have to delete that one straight up. There we go. Okay, it kind of matches little Emma's bed. I know that's on Emily's side a little bit, but it's gonna protect both of them from the monsters. So there we go. Right, let's just focus on getting all the similums to bed so I can tell you about my my uh, mischievous plans. Oh look, Claire looks really cute there in the corner with her, her little Hawaiian look. Actually love that. Actually love that a lot. No, get your butt to sleep. Sleep time. Night time's off for sleeping, Sims. Okay, is everybody asleep? Jesse need, needs it most. No, James isn't asleep. Okay, so you guys already kind of have thought about this a little bit. And I talked about it a little bit, man. Like, this could be a thing that I do, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do it. But I do want to do it. Okay, here is the plan. It's a pretty big change to the series, and I hope you guys are going to be on board. So, I'm going to age James up. Very oh, who's out of bed? Who is out of bed? Who is out of bed? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The butler is back! He's got an evil outfit on! And I don't know even what know what he's got on his head. And he's attacking my strawberry bush and making it all drippy. What are you doing here, babe? You're not even a babe. What are you doing here? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Wait, he's our butler again? Whatever happened to Jamie? Oh my gosh, guys. I kind of feel like at this point we can't fight Seiji. We just have to accept him. We just have to accept his presence and hope that he doesn't kill us in our sleep. Maybe that's why none of the Sims are asleep. Anyway, I digress. So, the idea is in this episode, I'm gonna age up James. What I'm also gonna do is invite around Salma, his little girly whirly friend. And I'm gonna like, you have to use the cast mode uh, and cheats and stuff and force age her up as well. Because obviously she's not a member of our family. If I age James up without her, then they're gonna be different ages. She will stay a teenager, James will be an adult, and it means that they won't be in a relationship anymore. It'll be very sad for both of them. So I'm gonna age both of them up. And then what I'm gonna get them to do is move James out to the big city. So those guys are gonna be living in an apartment together. Oh my gosh, look, can I just point out that Jessie's mood matches her hair. Ah! So those guys are gonna be living in an apartment together. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get them enough money to buy an apartment. Because I think the household funds belong to Ali and Claire. And also there's not that much funds there. So we might have to do a little bit of cheating there, guys. I don't like doing it, but we may have to do it. Oh my gosh, what is going on with this guy? What is he doing? So James will, get, will turn into an adult. Him and Selma are going to move out into an apartment. So what I'm going to do from that point onwards is have one episode focusing on their life. And then the next episode will focus on... Dream House, which is why I didn't want to change the series, because this series will stay a Dream House. James and Salma will become a new series. Um, they're gonna obviously still interlink. James and Salma will come and see everybody um, in the family and still go back to like uh, Ali and Claire. And of course, Ali and Claire and the kids will go and visit James and Salma sometimes. And it's just basically gonna be a beautiful little extension of the series. It's obviously gonna have a little bit of a different theme. Look, there's beautiful Salma. There she uh, is. Yes. It's going to have a little bit of a different theme because um, they are going to just have a little bit of a different life. They're living in the city. They're going to be going out more. They're going to have different careers and all that kind of thing. But it's just going to be an extension of the series. So let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you think about the comments below. What you want to see of the James, James and Salma series. What we should call the James and Salma series. And this episode will be the one that we age them up and get them out on their own. And then I have to figure out how to move them up. So this is going to be James's like final little opportunity to like hang out with his family before he moves out. And it's just gonna be like, I just wanna make sure that they, they are like, they like each other and everyone's kind of gonna stay in touch when he leaves the home. So hopefully you guys like the idea. It's something I've been really looking forward to for a while. We're obviously gonna keep little Jessicans as a teenager for a little bit longer. She needs to find her way. The next episode of Dream House will have us making that boy and girl kind of grungy sim that could become a potential partner for her. So that's kind of what we'll do next in Dream House. What we will be doing in James and Salma is getting them set up in this house. I'm so excited. Getting them set up in their own house, getting them there doing their own thing. And oh my gosh, guys, how cute is this? All the Famalams here together, all of the kids here hanging out, 
those guys getting some breakfast and this is the final the final day for james to still be living in his house <gasps> pretty emotional he's off to go set the table he's in a great mood he's in a great mood because he's moving out <gasps> look at that he knew that mama claire had cooked some hot dogs so he wanted to go and set the table for them all i mean i don't know what claire just did with the hot dogs i don't know what she just did with them she knows she needs to go to work Where'd you put the hot dogs? Okay, hot dogs on the table. There we go. Oh, look at this. They're increasing their manners because they're sitting at the table. Look at them. I love that they get on. I love that he's kind of a lot more like preppy. He's very popular. He's got the girlfriend. He's like super sporty. And she's a lot more like alternative and crazy and dyes her hair. And she's got the piercings. She probably needs a tattoo at some point. But they still get on really well. I like that. I like that a lot. So, you guys wanted poor little Emma to join a softball team. I have literally no idea how to make that happen. No idea how to make that happen. This isn't Sims 3 where they have all these activities, unfortunately. Um, I can't even, like, send her to a football stadium or anything. Because, oh my gosh, look at Claire's crazy painting. I don't really think they have any of that stuff. She enjoys playing on this, though. She does enjoy playing on that a lot. And then, obviously, Emily is enjoying, like, her big sister's interaction. Like, I wouldn't say that Jessie is a girly girl. She's a girly girl in that she, like, cares about hair and makeup. She cares about her appearance and the way she looks. But, um, she's still not super girly girly, but she's girly enough for Emily to be like, Yay, my big sister's so cool. I love her. Plus, as a little sister, you always look up to your big sister, don't you? I can't believe this guy's back. Like, what is he even doing? What is he throwing into this? He's washing something up there. Guys, I don't know why he's our butler again, but he just is. That's just the way this is going. And then obviously, little Emma and uh, Ali, I guess because like I was a bit of like a daddy's girl when I was a kid, because I was a little bit of a tomboy. These guys are the same. Like they're just hanging out together doing some little chitty chats it's like the opposite of jess and emily isn't it oh ali's gone because he needs a toilet he's going to a far toilet i don't know why i didn't just go to that one. Oh, because emma needs that one <gasps> good dad in skills there oh my gosh literally without even trying emily is playing in the dollhouse ali bless her is helping her emma is outside on the spaceship i didn't even tell them to do that they just naturally kind of did that all on their own which is pretty cool Okay, the little twins are hanging out together now, being little cutie butts with their... Oh, so, some of you guys as well have said that you don't like them being blonde because it doesn't match the rest of the family. I was, like, bright blonde as a kid for, like, my whole childhood. When I used to go on holiday, it would go, like, literally white blonde. And all my family, like, I was born with black hair. My dad had black hair. My mom had brown hair. And my brother's hair is, like, darker than mine as well. Like, people in the same family can have different color hairs. And I kind of like that they're different and they, they've both got the same color hair and it's a little bit different from the rest of the family. I don't want everyone in the family to look identical. I like this sort of different look about them. So, I am going to keep them that way, guys. I am going to keep them that way. <gasps> Jess got another capsule. Well done, little Jess. Claire's going to go do some working out. I think James... <gasps> Open it up. Open it up. What did she get? Oh, wow, a sapphire. Why can't we send this? Jesse must, okay, we can send that and that will be another one. And she got another gold, guys. These make me so happy. Oops, these make me so happy and excited. Like, ah, I wanna catch them all. They're like Pokemon. I wanna collect them all, okay. Look at this one. Oh, cool, look at this. Super close view of them. So we've got Buddy, we've got Leaf, we've got Gonk, and we've got Morcubus. Pretty cool. Okay, so I think James should start getting ready. It's Saturday night. He wants to throw a birthday party. So you need to... What am I doing? You need to get on that phone of yours. Plan a social event. I think this is the right one. Okay. Birthday party. Oh, no. I don't want it... To, I don't care about these. I just want to focus on the party. Okay. Invite some Sims. Birthday Sim is going to be you. You're the birthday Sim. And then you need to invite. So all your family's already going to be there. Salma obviously is getting an invite. Dia, best friend from childhood. She gets an invite. Layla gets an invite. You guys want Layla to be friends with Jess. We can definitely do that. Oh, look. Look how much he likes his nanny. Oh, my gosh. She gets an invite, too. That is a lot of likage. That's, like, more likage than his girlfriend, nearly. Gonna invite April because she's pretty cool. 
it's all girls so far, so let's just throw a few boys into the mix as well. A little Vodger for uh, Emma. Get a caterer in. Let's get a mixologist in. Let's get an entertainer in. Boom. There we go. Uh, the place is gonna be... I want it at my own residence. The dream house. He needs his final birthday party to be at the dream house. Okay. I think as well he should change into like... What outfit should we put him in? Let's change him into his hype t-shirt outfit. There we go. He's looking pretty hypey. His hair's gone back. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. <gasps> Your guests are here. Go say hey to everyone. Quick. Okay. Dia's here first. Dia's always been a good friend. She looks very cool as well. Is she an adult now? No, she's still a teen. She switched up her outfit. Babe, you look wonderful. Thank you for coming. Salma's come, but she's in a really bad mood. Salma, Salma, why are you so angry? I mean, you look gorgeous. Like, you look gorgeous. Look, she's gone for, like, the more masculine shoe option, but she's balancing it off with a very girly dress. Like, she looks freaking amazing. Oh, I can't even talk to her yet because my queue is full. I don't want her to leave though. Okay, Jess, can you go chat with her for me? Oh my gosh, look at all the horrible mean things. Like, Jess's only option is just to be mean and belittle anger. No, stop. Oh, because she's angry. She wants to make fun of it. No, why are you so angry? Oh my gosh, Claire's just in there stinking everything up, cooking a cake. You need to get- Oh no, she's got twirlies all over her. Oh my gosh, how embarrassed would James be of his mum? Like, literally so embarrassed. Okay, James, put some music on. Distract everybody from your stinky weird mum. Okay, we've got the cake. Put the cake down, Claire, and then leave the cake. Okay, okay. Add birthday candles. So that should mean hopefully no one's gonna like just swill all in there and eat it. What's she doing? There we go. Okay, we've got birthday candles on there. So no one should try and take a slice of the cake now. <gasps> Who's this cool little babe here? She's pretty cool. <gasps> Layla, I forgot that her hair goes like that. Look at her outfit. I'm digging that. Jess, go say hey to Layla. Everybody wanted you guys to be best as friends. Compliment her outfit. Brighten her day. Flush. I mean, you can flush crazy eyes if you want. Not quite sure if it's the best way to get friendship, but give it a go. Oh, James is catching up with Dia. I don't know why it's so dark in here. Like, can I switch some lights on, please? There we go. So these guys were, like, really good childhood friends. Like, there was a chance of a romance at one time, but it, it didn't work out that way. But they still like each other a lot, which I think is really good. Okay, forget these boring-ass people. Go chat with your girlfriend, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, there's a big whole table full of people <laughs> trying here now. And look, Jess seems to be getting along fairly well with Salma, which is really nice. James has come oh, over to chat with Salma as well. <gasps> oh no, this guy just totally stole James's seat. <laughs> Layla's cute. Like, I like Layla a lot. I think she's really pretty. And I love her hair like that. That's so much better than her day hair. Be nice to her Jess though, okay? <gasps> oh, look, James is making poor stressed Salma feel better. That's where, how you know this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful relationship. Oh, how cute is he? This fit together. Okay, they've got some little electronica music playing. This is the entertainer, apparently. He's dancing to the music, though. I don't know what happened to the bartender. I just do not know what happened to him at all. But I think we've got a caterer. Like, things are being cooked by somebody. I don't know. Oh, look, here we go. Someone's in there cooking some, cooking some things up. And I think it's time for Lil James to blow out his candles. <laughs> blow out your candles, James. It's time for you to become an adult. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is he? <gasps> Here we go. Adult time. <gasps> James aged up, guys. Young adulthood. Okay, so he's got good emotional control. He's very responsible and he's got good manners. They were the three things of part of the parenthood sort of new traits that you can increase when they're a, t when they're a child. We managed to do those three, which I think is pretty freaking good. So he's got these extra cool little traits. And then I think... Do we have to pick one? Did we, wait, did I have to click one of those? That's it, he's a young adult. What? He doesn't change at all. Oh my gosh, was I meant to give him like an extra thing and I didn't do it? Oh no, he's got loads. Oh my gosh. He literally has so many traits now. Wow, okay, so that's why the parenthood is worth it, guys. So, you know what we need to do? I don't think he can be in a relationship with a teenager. Yeah, oh, lovers. No, they still are. Okay, the only thing he can do to her now is serenade. That's because he's an adult and she's still a teenager. So, edit mode. 
Okay, let's see if that's worked. I, th I always forget that cheat. <gasps> yes, okay. Modify in cuss. So not only do we get to age up Salma, but we can tweak her appearance a little bit as well, guys. Make her a little bit cooler looking. <gasps> so this is Sal Oh wait, no, that's her mum. Okay, here we go. Here is Salma. She is so pretty. She's so pretty. So I think one of the first things we want to change is we want to give her those realistic eyes, which are actually yeah. like a makeup thing, I think. So I want to try and get some eyes that are the same color as that. Oh man, that one doesn't have any, which is a shame because I really like the way those eyes look. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she already had custom eyes. She already had custom eyes, guys. It's fine. It's absolutely fine then. We do need to give her the eyelashes though. Okay, there we go. So she's got some proper eyelashes on now. Which I think make her eyes look so much more realistic than just that stupid block over her eye. I was thinking like this lipstick looks quite cute on her as well. I think I mean she's got really nice lips. Like James, you chose well. You've got a beautiful girlfriend. And then for her eyebrows, I was kind of like these ones look quite nice and these ones look quite nice. I don't know if they're a little bit harsh for her face. I think those ones actually look a million times better. We'll just lighten them up a little bit. Like, we could even get them to match- Oh no, I thought we could get, like, red ones to match her hair. But no, let's go for, like, a brownie kind of one. That one, I think that one's perfect. Now, I think her hair already is, like, pretty amazing. I think her hair's gorgeous. But I think she- Whatever style we put her in, she needs to keep, like, the red hair. Because it suits her so much. So there's a few, like, different, like, little looks and stuff we could give her. <laughs> she looks quite cute like that. She does look quite cute like that. Oh my gosh, I've just found this. How much does Jess need this hair in her life right now? It's not for her, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put Jess in that hair. That's really pretty on her. I don't know, I think for now, because like she rocked this hair so much, it like looks so amazing on her, that I might just keep her with this hair just for now. Okay, we need an outfit for her though. Okay, so this is a like little dress that we were so used to seeing on her. But we should change it up a little bit. What kind of look could we give her? I don't even know what kind of person she wants to be yet, you know? Oh my gosh, when your boots match your hair. <laughs> okay, so that's a day look, this one here. Her formal look, we've actually seen her dress like this before. I mean, you can keep the shoes, but those ones are quite bulky. I think these ones are much nicer. I want to change the top. Oh my gosh, Salma has big boobs. She had really big boobs. Okay, that's a short skirt, but I think she kind of pulls it off. So I'm gonna give her that for like a formal look. <gasps> she needs some makeup, son. Oh my gosh, look at her with makeup. How pretty, how pretty is she? We've not even given her like skin details or anything yet. Cause look, we, look, that gives her little dimples, you know? That's a bit of a more like realistic skin, I guess. Oh my gosh, we can make her so pretty. We can make her so pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how good does that look on her? I think we found our skin guys. Oh my gosh, I love her. I'm like, she's my new fave now. <laughs> she is my new fave, okay. So she keep, oh my gosh, look at her. Look how beautiful she is. Look, we could give her some like Calvins as like her underwear. <laughs> the thing is, I can't find the top that goes with them. I don't know why, but it just doesn't appear. Like, I swear I downloaded both of them, but there's no top. There's no Calvin's top. We could just pretend that she's like wearing one of James's shirts to bed. Oh, how cute would that be? Or maybe she just wears like this to bed. I'm kind of digging that. That's like crazy bedwear. And then her party dress. Look at the boobies. The boobies are there. She can't go for that red because it just totally clashes with her hair. She could go for this though. I mean, there's there's a lot of boobage with this outfit that I don't really like. I don't like the way it looks. It just looks very odd. But I don't know. She looks pretty sexy. She does look pretty sexy. Can we give her some like heels and then some makeups? Oh my gosh, look at this look. This is like her um, when she's like formal dressed. This is party. She's like smoky eyes. Like she's the whole shebang. I'm kind of a fan of a one piece. I quite like a one piece bikini. Look at the little boobage showing through as well. I mean, she looks sexy as hell like that. I want to keep her like that. And can we put her hair up for the pool? There we go. So she's around the pool. She's got her hair tied back. Oh my gosh. Like all these characters just start becoming my, my favorite character. So the final thing to do, we need to make her a young adult. Ka-ching! I don't think anything should have changed for that. Like it shouldn't actually change any of her looks or anything. No. 
Young adults and teens are pretty similar. I think there might be just a little bit more choice in what you can wear. There we go, guys. There she is. I love her. I lo look at her face. Look at her face. Like, she is cool as hell. She is actually a cool as hell. Okay. So I think what I may have to do is uh, James asks her to move in. Or does James move out first? Get his pad. Invite her around and then ask her to move in. That might be the way we do it. But I want to just make sure they're still like together and everything. Oh, everyone's celebrating his little <laughs> birthday. Where's Selma? Oh, she's there. <gasps> she's in like a party outfit. Like, like, look how amazing she looks. Who is this? But mixologist, <laughs> Bailey. Bailey is very pretty as well. It actually looks quite similar to Salma, so I thought I would just show her and be like, look how gorgeous she is compared to everyone else. But then she actually, she actually was sat next to a really beautiful person. Jess, obviously, very beautiful as well. What, he's got to ask her if she's single all over again. <gasps> that sucks because they're like lovers, but I think they have to go through the motions again. So ask her if she's single. Confess attraction. Oh my gosh, try for a baby. No, no, we're not doing that so quickly again, okay? Oh my gosh, look at this guy playing with his toys on the floor. <laughs> One person has downloaded Ellie and Claire. Thank you. And also, you guys, I'm going to update the link in the description below with all my mods. So that should be working again after this, okay? Okay, so he's at least invited her to stay the night for now. But there we go, guys. They are aged up. A sleepover sounds great. I'm gonna save their woo-woos when they move into their next house. But I think, like, let's let's see what we can do now. Let's see what we can do and see if we can get James to move out. Move household? No, it's just you. You're the only one moving, okay? Oh, he's serenading her. How freaking cute is that? I didn't even ask him to do that. Oh my gosh, she loves it. She actually loves it. She's so in love with him and she's so pretty. Ah, I love her guys. She's like my new Jess now. Okay, so I literally, this isn't an easy thing to do. I had to look at a tutorial online. So I'm gonna save and go to manage world. I think I have to like break up the household. Like, it's so weird to me that there isn't an option, unless I'm just missing it, of like, I'm a young adult, I wanna move out and go my own way. You can't just like do that. That's just weird to me. Okay. And I'm hoping that they're gonna be able to run simultaneously to each other. Okay. Uh, oh no, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I've clicked the wrong thing. Okay, it was fine though, because it gave me the chance to upload the new house with the extension onto the gallery. So you guys can get that too. I'll pop a description in the comments. Oh my gosh, you guys are downloading it already. <laughs> you guys. Okay, so. Manage households. Transfer sims between households. So James and Bob is moving... Oh, add a new, create a new household. There we go. Can we move him in there? He's only got 20,000 pounds. Okay, let's just move him. So those guys stay where they are. He's in a new household. Can I name a household? No, I can't, okay. I look, Carson's downloading it. Okay, so he is no longer there. Oh my gosh, this makes me so nervous. Okay, now we go to the big city. We've got James here. We need to move him into a lot. Okay. So there's apartments here. Sim okay. Which are the best apartments? <gasps> They're pretty cool. Oh, you cannot afford this. You could afford this one. You can't afford the lit one. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. Another floor. You could get this one. Oh my gosh. Weekly rent is expensive. There's going to be two of them though. This one's pretty nice. So look, you can choose which floor you live on and everything. <gasps> He's going to be so jealous of like the bigger lot at the side of him. Okay. And then there's some over here. Oh, he could, he could afford these ones. And he would have these um, little neighbors here. Oh my gosh, this one you get a pool. You get all of this floor. And you get all of that floor. But it's so cool furnished. Like, I don't want to not have the furnishings. He's got these little apartments here. He'd have some neighbors. He is in a quake zone. I kind of feel like he can't just move straight into the most lit apartment. He needs to be able to afford one that actually has like, he can afford everything in it at the same time. <gasps> this one's haunted. Oh my gosh. Needs TLC. Oh, these are like your basic like loser apartments. And then you move like up one. These are like Cheek, Cheek Street. Man, even those are expensive. This seems like the best area. Uptown's the best area. And then I think the arts quarter as well is pretty cool. 
but we can't afford it. We're gonna have to start off in the pov area and work our way up. I think that's what we do. We're gonna have to do this, 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 and then finally make it all the way to here, guys. I think that's what we will do. So we get a choice of apartment that needs TLC. We can't afford that. We've got this one, but it has gremlins. We've got this one that's haunted, or we can move into this one, which is good schools and it's on a ley line. I do like the idea though of having lots of neighbors. We've got James now. We're gonna move him into his fixer upper apartment. His rent is gonna be $600 a week. He has to pay a 550 pound deposit. And he's moving in. Oh my gosh. Like we could get it unfurnished and he's got loads of money. But I think it's gonna be easier just to get what we've got and we can upgrade it. Oh my gosh. Can we go play with him? Oh my gosh. I like, I feel scared. Oh. Guys, this would be the first ever episode of James in his new apartment. <gasps> Should we take a tiny sneak peek? <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at it! He's hungry, but look at this! Okay. Okay, there we go. James has moved out. I'm gonna pause right here. That is it, guys. James is an adult. Our firstborn child is an adult. He's moved out into an apartment. We've got the amazing, beautiful Salma waiting to move in, which we will do in the next episode. So I think my next episode is gonna be like James in the City. I don't know whether to call it James in the City or like maybe James in the City. Let me know in the comments below because I'm not entirely sure. But I'm really, really excited, guys. I'm like, ah! I'm like buzzing. Let me know if you guys are excited too in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like James in the City kind of as the like the, the title or if there's something cooler we could do. And guys, I'll see you in the next episode, which will be set here in the city with James in his brand new apartment, a brand new Sims 4 series, and I'll see you then. Bye.